everybody so I got a few cool new things that I wanted to show you guys and so I'm going to do that and then also in I think it was my last video maybe the one before that um, when I did the house of rituals box I know I talked about how I wasn't sure how to use the charcoal incense burner so I actually figured that out and I thought I'd show you guys kind of just a brief how it works in case you guys ever want to try charcoal incense burners because they're pretty cool and it's it was actually kind of fun but first I'll show you guys just a few little things that I got so um, first I have a few new Disney zoom zooms and uh, the main reason I got this three pack was definitely flower I really really wanted flower from Bambi and I just, I love skunks. There's just something about skunks. Maybe because black and white are my favorite colors. But I just thought flower was really cute. I love how they put the flower on his side. So I wanted to show you that. And then uh, the three pack also came with, uh, I think this is sleepy. You can tell by his eyes that he's really sleepy. So it came with him. And then the mystery figure that it came with was... Um, uh, this is Eve, I think, from Wally, isn't it? I was trying to remember for sure, but yeah, this is, uh, I'm pretty sure it's a character from Wally, and I think it's Eve. I haven't watched Wally in actually a long time, so if I'm mistaken, please excuse me, but that's uh, what I got for the mystery figure. And then just another couple little things I got. I ordered a copy of the Crystal Bible from eBay and lately I've really been into crystals. I've always kind of liked rocks and liked collecting rocks and stuff like that but this book is really cool. It has um, just uh, pretty much just about every kind of crystal that you can imagine and a lot of information about them and just cool stuff like that. Uh, I'd like to get some serpentine. I think it's a cool rock. And as you can see, it's just, it's a lot of information. So um, this is definitely a good reference that I'll be able to use for the crystals that I do have. And then I wanted to show you guys these dish towels that I got at Burlington. I just thought they were so, so cute. Um, they say believe in magic and they have a unicorn on them. And I've just never ever seen like a unicorn dish towel before. So I just, I had to get this. And it's funny because we were walking through the store and I saw it on an end cap and I grabbed it and was like, I have to have this. And my husband's like, no, you don't. And I'm like, yes, I do. It's like, yes, I do. I have to have this. It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. So I just thought it was so cute. And I just love those. I, I'm one of those people like, all of the stuff that I get from my house, I always try to get stuff that, you know, is my personality. So if I see like a dish towel or a bath towel or something with, you know, Disney characters on it or like unicorns or especially around Halloween, I love to get lots of house stuff that's Halloween themed because I just adore Halloween. But yeah, that's that's me too. I just, I get into that kind of stuff. And then I do want to show you guys, um, like I said, I got um, to do the uh, charcoal incense burning. I got this little candle holder at um, the Dollar Tree. So it was only a buck and I like the way it looks. It's like, as you can see, it's star shaped. And uh, I have some sand in there, which I'll explain in a minute. But um, I just, I like the way it looks. It has kind of like this shimmery, almost like see-through kind of thing going on. So I just think it's a really cool candle holder. And the reason I put sand in it, which I bought a bag of black sand at the Dollar Tree as well. They had black sand, white sand, and green sand. So if you guys do decide to try this on your own, um, you know, you can get whatever color sand you want, I guess, depending on what they have. And I got black because black's my favorite color. But the reason I got the sand is because the charcoal burners can be really, really hot. So they recommend that whatever you burn them in, that you put a layer of sand at the bottom so that it doesn't, you know, like, I guess, damage whatever you're burning it in. And believe me, they do get really, really hot. The charcoal burners do get really hot. You do not want to touch them after they have been lit. And then after you put the layer of sand, you take the charcoal burner, which... Um, will look somewhat like this so you just you take it out and I'm not going to actually light it uh, because I don't want to light it indoors which is another thing I learned when I tested out the first time is I would not recommend that you do this indoors because it gets really really smoky so it's definitely something more that you'd probably want to do outdoors but anyway you take the charcoal uh, which just looks like this and you hold a uh, 
well, a lighter or a match or whatever, you uh, light it with the match or the lighter. And at first it won't look like anything is happening. So I held it on, I held the flame on the charcoal um, probably for like a few seconds at least to make sure that it, you know, would light up. And at first it didn't look like anything was going on, but pretty soon I started seeing the black start to turn red and glowing. So that's how I knew that it was working. So once you have it lit, um, which as soon as you, you know, are done uh, with the flame, you know, as soon as you're done holding it over the flame, put it immediately into the uh, candle holder on top of the sand because you don't want it to burn your fingers when it starts getting hot. And just keep an eye on it and pretty soon you'll be able to tell if it's lit or not because it'll start turning kind of reddish and will start like smoking a little bit and stuff. And then at that point when it's smoking, that's when you can take your incense and just kind of sprinkle it like all over the charcoal and it'll burn it, you know, as the charcoal gets hotter and hotter. And um, you can, you know, keep putting more incense on it, burn as much as you want to, because it takes a long time for the charcoal to burn out. So you definitely have time to burn a lot of incense if you want to, or you can just burn a little bit, like whatever you want to do. And uh, this incense that I got, it, it smells pretty good. Um, I, I wasn't like crazy, crazy about the scent. Um, I think that probably other scents that I am more, uh, like I tend to be more of a sweet scent kind of person. I like cinnamon, I like fruit scents, I like vanilla, I like all that. And this wasn't really a sweet scented uh, incense that I got from the House of Rituals box, but it was still pretty cool to watch it burn and everything. And like I said, next time I will definitely, definitely do it outdoors instead of indoors. And um, so that's pretty much um, what you do and you just let the incense burn out and then after you're done burning the incense, I personally, I just let the charcoal bricket uh, burn out as well, which you can tell uh, that it starts to burn out when it starts to turn to ash. And you, you wanna make sure even when it looks like it's turned to ash, you do not wanna touch it because a lot of times the inside is still really, really hot. So I would use like the end of a scissors or something to kind of break up the ash. And you could see as you broke off some of the ash that the inside was still really, really red. And I would just keep kind of breaking it up until eventually like none of it was red anymore and then I knew it had all turned to ash. So that's kind of how you do a, a, a charcoal incense burner. And I'm sorry if you guys already knew this or had tried this, but I had never personally tried this before. So I just thought it would be cool to kind of explain how it works. And it's kind of a fun little thing to do outdoors. And I guess that's it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Oh, I did want to say that in the incense, the harvest incense that they sent us, they also included like... Um, it, it looks kind of like a crystal, but it's technically not actually a rock. This is a, a piece of copal, which is a kind of tree resin, actually, kind of like amber that has hardened. So I thought that was pretty cool because, I mean, you know how I like crystals and stuff, so I thought that was cool that they included that. And then there are also, like, littler bits of copal in the incense that... Um, after everything was burned away were left behind so you can see like little bits of the crystal well they call it a crystal but i don't know if it's technically a crystal since it's made of tree resin but they call amber a crystal so i assume it would be considered a crystal but that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this um i hope it didn't bore you or anything but i just thought i'd share because you know it was fun for me to do so i figured maybe you guys might want to try it and i'll see you later so bye bye